చేయండి ఒకసారి ఇది ఇది డౌన్ చేయండి రికార్డ్ వచ్చింది సార్ ఓకే నేను చేశాను అండి ఓకే నో ప్రాబ్లం ఓకే 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 సార్ యు కెన్ కారీ ఆన్ ఓకే గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ నాగరాజ్ అసోసియేట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ వాగ్దేవి కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ట్రిపుల్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ brief mention about the distribution system uh, previous class i told about a few things uh, what is uh, the indian in india's indian india distribution system today i'll give the what is distribution system basically uh, so uh, you are seeing some building service okay this is about the total generation transmission as well as distribution part so the upper one except uh, the generation and transmission okay you know about the generation and uh, you have studied power system 1 uh, total generation part in the power system 1 you have studied power system 2 in the so transmission right now you are in the distribution part okay you have another subject uh, switch gear and protection those will gives the information about the protection protecting devices and uh, how you can protect uh, some how you can protect your uh, transmission lines and all those how you can protect some faults uh, how you can protect your power from the faults levels okay so uh, this this uh, the below one the below one is going to give the below one is uh, going to give the clear picture of the distribution system uh, coming to the next so you know about the generation system uh, here generation system is that okay this is the generation generation system electricity is uh, generated at uh, various kinds of power plants like thermal hydel uh, or uh, coal uh, thermal uh, hydel uh, renewable like uh, conventional energy sources or non conventional energy sources by the using of different power plants you can generate the power as well as uh, by the uh, after the generation part we can uh, transmit that to the uh, we can transmit see here this is the transmission lines this is this transmission lines okay we have the generating plant here and we have a uh, transmission uh, from here we are going to have some uh, transmission lines here okay this is the transmission lines on that transmission uh, electric transmission is a vital link between the power production like generation and this that is about the distribution uh, transmission lines carry electricity at a high voltage over a long distance from the power plants to the communities okay communities are nothing but always remember loads load side these are all our different types of loads okay so what is distribution distribution is nothing but from the distribution side okay from the transmission we have some power like 33 kv 33 kv is step down by the uh, step down transformer to the 11 kv in the substation from that from that we are going to have a distribution uh, plan okay this distribution uh, we have classified into two types one is uh, primary distribution as well as secondary distribution primary distribution as well as secondary distribution so whenever i have so in between uh, anything so uh, transmission line to the localized substation like a power grid substation or a sub transmission substation through the loads okay loads are nothing but loads are classified into the loads are class classified into the Uh, like commercial loads uh, industrial loads so uh, agriculture loads uh, or uh, uh, industrial loads uh, how household purpose we have domestic loads uh, okay these are uh, these are the best example for the uh, these are the best example some of the i have i have de- i have given the some homes here some industries are there some industries are there okay so uh, like that we have the distribution so for the industries for the industries we have a uh, three phase some industries are run by the single phase some industries are run by the depending on their power rating okay so coming to the next uh, level 
I am going for that. So, what is the layout of the distribution system? Okay, this is about the layout of the distribution system. If you if you go through it, okay. So the dotted lines, what I have indicated, okay. This dotted lines indicates this dotted lines indicate distribution system, okay. So what I mentioned in the previous class also, from the generation we have first of all we have the generating stage, okay. After that the transmission, after that the bulk power substation. Why means we need to step up the we need to depending on the usage depending on the usage we need to step up the voltage level and we need to reduce the step voltage level. Okay, so bulk power substation to step upping. After that we are going for the sub transmission level. Okay, here transmission thing transmission uh, system is there. Here sub transmission system is there. Okay, after the sub transmission system. We are going for the power grid level. Okay, here we can install a power grid level. That power grid is going to give. That power grid is going to give the some power step down power to the distribution companies. Okay, so we have a uh, here three connections we have. Okay, see here uh, whatever the higher amount of power, that higher amount of power directly fed to the industries, those who require. Those who require, as well as industry substation, some industries are needed more amount of power, like uh, leather factories or like uh, industry uh, copper factories or uh, DHEL type of things require the more power. Okay, those who requires the more power directly, we will have a supplied by the uh, main transmission lines by the bulk power substation. Okay, coming to here, coming to here. Coming to here, coming to here, see here. This part, okay. This part is a major role in the distribution system, okay. Uh, so uh, we have we from the sub transmission system, uh, we will get some power. That part is given to the main substation, okay. This is the distribution substation in the third level I gave, okay. That third from the substation to see here. If you if you if you see a sub, are you are you aware about the substation? Hello, are you aware about the substation? Please give me, please give me your uh, response. Yeah. Okay, so you will get a thirty-three by eleven kV substation. You know about the ratings of the substation, thirty-three by eleven kV. Okay, thirty-three by eleven kV. That eleven kV substation is this. Okay. After that, we have we will give the that powers that step down power that eleven kV power to the different distribution transformers. Okay, so here uh, I told uh, two types of classifications are there. One is primary 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 distribution system. Another one is secondary distribution system. Primary distribution systems are nothing but primary distribution systems are nothing but. From the distribution substation to the step down transformer, step down transformer, the line, the link between the the link between the substation to the step down transformer is nothing but the link between the uh, substation to the distribution transformer, distribution transformer, step down distribution transformer near to you. A group of loads are connected to a. A group of loads are connected to a one transformer. Okay, those link we will call it as a primary distribution system. Okay, as well as we will have a from that from the step down transformer we will have a connection with the con connection to the we will have a connection to the different types of loads like commercial loads, uh, industrial loads, uh, 
or uh, domestic loads so, or municipal loads so, okay we have different types of connection okay those connections uh, we will have those connections are nothing but a secondary distribution system okay so this is about the uh, total total uh, power supply to the uh, main generating station to the as well as distribution system okay this is about the main distribution system uh, from the generating station to the from the generating station to the loads okay loads so whenever so we will have a generating station i have a generating station uh, which produces 11 kv a generating station is having a mw megawatts amount of power generating station rating is megawatts but if if we convert that we will have 11 kv okay and uh, here um here excuse me. sorry sorry for the delay uh, sorry for the delay so uh, after the generating unit uh, we will have a step up transformer we will have a step up transformer from this step up transformer we can boost uh, some voltage to the 11 kv to the 11 kv to the 220 kv and uh, as well as as well as uh, that from the step down step up transformer we will have a we will have a link to the receiving station receiving substation receiving a transmission station okay which which is giving to the which, which is uh, fed which is having a connection to the step down transformer you can step down that to the 220 to the 33 kv okay we have this substation okay this is a best example this uh, this level is we have for the uh, mulgu road substation as well as here this is the localized substation level okay substation to the 33 by 11 kv or 33 by 66 kv for the bulk 6.6 kv not sorry 6.6 kv so whenever i have this type of things 33 by 11 kv or 33 by 6.6 kv you can you, you can do that by the step down transformer and primary transmission we have okay from the receiving station to the main substation we have uh, we will call it as a secondary transmission system okay and we will have a primary distribution system here okay we will have a from the substation to the distribution distribution transformer okay distribution substation is nothing but a distribution transformer okay here distribution transformer distribution transformer is there from the distribution transformer to the loads are nothing but a uh, secondary distribution system okay this is the clear idea about uh, the distribution total layout of the total layout as well as single line diagram of the distribution system. so uh, i'll go for the individual things okay uh, so there are uh, the definitions so what is distribution system and classification of the distribution system and uh, losses of the distribution system 
so distribution system so uh, what is distribution system tell me it is a part of our system which distributes electrical power for local use local use is known as distribution system okay this system is uh, the electrical system between the substation fed by the transmission system and consumer meter like energy meter okay distribution line mainly consist of feeder feeder as well as distributor as well as service main okay so i'll give the brief idea about that so here the connection link what is uh, what is the main these are the three things what is the main uh, main uh, main link between the substation to the distribution substation is nothing but a feeder and uh, r receiving transmission substation to the main substation is nothing but a feeder okay the connection link between the two substations are nothing but a feeder all of you remind this okay as well as so distribution distribution is classified into the three sites one is feeder one is distributor one is service mains service mains are nothing but service lines service lines are connected to the distribution lines distribution na loads distributed loads okay so here for interlinks distribution system main distribution substation i have here circled one is the distribution system circled one is the distribution system okay the connection link between the service lines to the service mains are nothing but feeder okay feeders are nothing but it is a connection link between the distribution substation to the service mains or service lines are nothing but a service lines you know about that okay service lines are nothing but you know about that as well as i'll give more feeder feeder is a conductor which connects this substation to the area to the where power is to be distributed this is you need to note okay this is you need to note and feeder are used to feed the electrical power from the generating station to the substation okay so always you can feed the power electrical power to the power from the generating station to the substation okay so you can have the both like from the generating station to the substation from the substation to the from the substation to the local usages from the substation to the local usages you can have okay so there is no tappings on the feeder system okay uh, if any tappings are there those those particular lines are nothing but not considered as a feeder all of you remind this okay so in general every substation we have a four feeder pattern or localized things are uh, having the four feeder pattern depending on the usage uh, or we have the six feeder pattern also to share the uniformity of a power okay our college our college is also having one substation are you aware about that after the uh, just uh, back side of the mechanical block we have the substation uh, we have the substation as well as that substation is going to give the power to the balikunta ramakrishnapur or uh, local area of the balikunta or local area of the ramakrishnapur some agriculture lands okay so our uh, college vagdevi college of engineering college is also having a four feeder pattern okay one is one is going to some part to the one is going to give some part to the okay so on that four feeder pattern we have the uh, feeder types also radial type express type uniform type like that you have uniform type is also radial uniform type is also called as radial type so unique amount of power is distributed but see uh, first of all our balikunta area is a uh, remote located which is connected to the, some villages as well as which is connected to some commercial loads which is connected to some uh, agriculture loads which is connected to some commercial loads also okay commercial loads are not, nothing but our college okay depending on the requirement of our college 
our college is uh, separately having a one feed okay if you after the covid if you go and see if you go and see uh, that particular substation i'll i'll get some pictures from that tomorrow i'll share uh, by the wednesday i'll share that pictures also vagdevi feeder i have that is nothing but a express feeder there is no link of the there is no link between the any 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 connection link between the substation to vagdevi okay so other three feeders four feed on that four feeders one feeder is vagdevi okay other other feeder is uh, ramakrishnapur ramakrishnapur local okay the after the college uh, gate we have some village some uh, consumer lots are there na those things are going to get power from that feed okay and uh, another feeder the third one is agriculture agriculture feed okay total substation is divided into the four feeder pattern or six feeder pattern but our college is having our college is having our college is having especially our college is having um uh, express feeder one feeder another one is uh, ramakrishnapur local another one is bolikunta agriculture remote look uh, another one is bolikunta agriculture lots the last feeder is connected to the bolikunta nearest areas nearest areas power connection this is about the clear set of substation okay through the feeder sites okay so what is distributor okay so distributor is nothing but a distributor is a conductor from which taken from which tappings are taken from pole mounted transformer to the pole mounted transformer to the pole mounted transformer to the consumer okay and the current through a distributor is not constant the current through a uh, distributor is not a constant because tappings are taken at various places okay distributor you can connect anywhere okay from the distribution line various places along its length okay voltage drop is main consideration depending on the connection you have the different amount of a uh, different amount of voltage drops and we have the limit of variation 6% rated of the cons rated at the consumer level okay as well as service lines okay distributor is over feeder is over as well as service mains this is about the service mains service mains is a generally excuse me sorry my step is so a service mains is a generally a small cable which connects the distributor to the consumer's meter okay so you know about the service mains a connection connecting wire between the pole to the different types of poles are used na poles are there na okay from the pole to the okay after the distribution transformer we will have a supply by the different poles okay poles are located to the near area nearest area from the poles to the from the poles to the we will have a connection to the meter that is nothing but a service mains okay the connecting link between the distributor to the consumer terminals okay we are the consumer terminals okay as well as this is about the clear idea of the thing okay here also this is also having a four feeder okay this is one feeder this is another feeder this is another feeder this is another feeder in that we have the substation okay all are having the service mains okay so there is no so this is feeder this is feeder this is feeder this is feeder there is no connection between the feeders all of you remind here sm and s4 are the feeder see here s is the substation m n 
are the four terminals okay but this is the substation only connected to the m and o so two feeders are there two feeders are there those two feeders here i have given a uh, ideal one two feeders are there one is m another one is o okay s2 m is a one feeder there is no connection okay s2 o is a another feeder okay distributors are nothing but mpo are the distributor and mno are the distributors okay so through the distributor you can have the service mains from the service mains to the consumer energy meter from the energy meter to the different types of loads okay clear so this is about the one thing this is about the layout of the connection okay this is about the layout of the connection so from the generating station or substation we will have a feeder points 1 2 3 three points are there okay three points are there those uh, things are parallelly connectized to the parallelly connectized to the consumers distribution lines various distribution lines okay that distribution lines are parallelly connected to the consumer premises okay through the service mains service mains are service cable here service cable i have written so service mains are there okay so this is about the so all these things are the distribution see here uh, this consumer service cables are nothing but a distributors distributor things okay so here here four types of distributors i have four types of distributor two feeders are there a and a see here a a so from a i have a distributor one and the distrib uh, from a the other side a we have a distributor two also okay from the distributor we have a different types of loads connection okay different types of service mains are uh, you have okay as well as so this is about the different uh, sets of from the transmission to the distributor side i have the thing i'll share this ppt to you i'll share this ppt to you and uh, this is about the different types of loads i have okay whether how we have the generation how we have the power line power system how we have the transmission and how we have the uh, from the transmission line substation substation main main element is a substi uh, transformer that's why substation is represented as a transformer okay or uh, so depending on the earth resistance also depending on the earth resistance also we can uh, we can uh, we can have a so whenever uh, we you can go any substation any substation that substation is having some rating okay our balikunta substation is having 5 mv 5 mv amount of rating and uh, which is having a earth grounding of 0.8 ohm okay so this earth grounding is also important okay and from the substation you know about the from the substation to the primary distribution this substation means primary sub, uh, primary distribution system as well as second uh, primary distribution system and primary distribution system to various through poles we will have a different amount of loads that is i have indicated like uh, domestic as well as commercial as well as industrial okay so this is about the uh, this is about the distribution system uh, this is about the distribution systems a view as well as just a wait uh, uh, if you have any doubt you can ask i'll wait
Hello. Hello. Are you getting my voice? Hello. If you have any doubt, uh, you can chat. You can give me your doubt. I'll clarify. Let me know. So I'll go for the introduction of the distribution system. Okay, distribution system is a part of a power system uh, existing between the distribution substation as well as a consumer. In between the distribution substation to the consumer, we have a distribution system. Okay, distribution substation to the consumer. Okay, the distribution substation rating is rating is. 33 by 11 kV. 33 kV is the input. 11 kV is the output. So, so you have you know that this 33 kV is the input as well as 11 kV is the output. Means there is a one equipment which is step downing the voltage. That equipment is nothing but a step down transformer. Okay, that equipment is nothing but a step down transformer. So as well as, as well as, um, so that uh, step down transformer you can select. You can select uh, different ratings of the step down transformer like 11 kV or 6.6 kV or 3.3 kV, depending on the rating. Okay, different. Uh, so. Mm, Are two types of there are uh, uh, there are two types of classification depending on the voltages. One is primary distribution system, uh, which is having a rating of 11 kV or 6.6 kV or 3.3 kV. Secondary distribution system, 4.415 uh, like a three for the three phase or three ten two two thirty volts uh, for the single phase. Okay. Next. So this is about the different types of classification. Different types of class. It can be classified uh, classification of the distribution system. So depending on the type of the current, we have uh, AC current. We have the DC current. As you know that AC distribution system we have, DC distribution system we have. Okay. Depending on the construction side, overhead overhead system and underground system okay you can have the overhead system overhead system means like a, uh, on the pole side on the pole based pole based things and underground means through the underground we can have the distribution system okay depending on the type of the service depending on the type of the service we have the industrial power industrial power uh, distribution system as well as we have the railway distribution system See here, there are different levels of the distribution system depending on the service. Okay, in the general lighting, see here for the municipal use, we have the different types of ratings of uh, we we are using different uh, types of lighting level depending on the lighting level. Depending on the lighting level, it requires different types of uh, distribution transformers. Okay, that's why we have a different. Uh, uh, we have a different separate line for the distribution. This uh, separate line for the municipal municipality lights, as well as uh, industrial 
industrial power purpose we have the different types of uh, levels and uh, railway railway we have the different types of levels and uh, for the street lighting we have the different types of things okay depending on the wires also we have classified okay uh, two wire three wire four wire okay you can have the two wire distribution system you can have the three wire distribution system you can have the four wire distribution system okay as well as scheme of uh, connection is nothing but so depending on the connection wise we have the radial type we have the loop type we have the interconnected interconnected types are nothing but radial type are nothing but serial connection serial parallel connection nothing nothing but a radial type loop type is nothing but where you have started there you have ended means that is nothing but a loop type okay interconnected means a substation a distribution system which is having radial type as well as loop type okay so up to now i uh, i have given different types of uh, different types of classification different types of things so are you aware are you aware about our uh, previous class i have given uh, more idea about uh, are you more aware about uh, hello hello are you getting my points thanks thank you thank you i'll continue i'll continue some interruption is there so from here onwards i'll i'll say are you know, are you aware about our telangana distribution companies hello okay i'll give some brief idea about that before uh, this class okay so from the apscb in the year of 1999 uh, ruling uh, our united ap is having the apscb APACB is formed. APS from the APACB is divided into the AP Genco, AP Genco, AP Transco, as well as AP Discoms. Different types of Discoms depending on the very nice. So NPDCL and SPDCL. So I think it is given the uh, output. Uh, so NPDCL, Northern Power Distribution Company, or Telangana is having two. Okay, Northern Power Distribution Company Limited. Uh, we have Southern Power. Right now, here our NPDCL head office is located in the our Hanmakanda only, near to the uh, near to the petrol pump. Okay, uh, Vijut Bhavan. 
so most of the people are known about that are you known about uh, our uh, npdcl ban is there in the nakalgutta okay that npdcl uh, that npdcl is going to give uh, uh, going to distribute uh, some part to the uh, varangal as well as karimnagar some part of medak some part of uh, medak as well as uh, kamam kamam my bad all the so these things are covered by these districts are covered by the uh, ts npdcl when i go for the ts spdcl previously it is called as ap cpdcl okay central power uh, central power distribution company limited after the telangana formation which is uh, renamed as a telangana state uh, southern power distribution company limited why means it is located at the south level okay so depending on uh, that southern power distribution company limited is going to give the power to the hyderabad uh, rangareddy uh, rangareddy sangareddy all those uh, like mahbubnagar some part of medak some part of uh, banapati all the maidchel all the districts are uh, covered by the ts spdc okay and if you if you see the clear idea about that uh, so these two companies are the major role to get some power and we are buying some power from the orissa okay our telangana government is buying power from the orissa as well as orissa as well as some different uh, states like uh, gujarat from the gujarat also we have the, we have buy some power and we have uh, solar power plants also different types of solar power plants and uh, in the united ap we have other two discoms uh, other two discoms one is ap epdcl another one is ap spdcl okay right now right now ap epdcl uh, is going to give power to total coastal areas coastal areas are nothing but vizag all those things okay so ap epdcl is uh, head office is located uh, located in the area of uh, vizag and the ap spdcl uh, head office is located located at uh, tirupati okay all the royal sima areas are covered by the all the royal sima areas are covered by the ap spdcl you need to note this points okay we have the huge amount of they have the huge uh, huge requirement of the uh, electrical engineers uh, after uh, finishing of your btech you can have uh, you can have uh, some positions on those uh, distribution companies okay we have uh, we can have assistant engineer uh, and a junior engineer type of uh, post post in on those uh, distribution companies okay um, so how much power we are getting how much power we are receiving how much power we are receiving so are you aware about that are you aware about that no so i'll give some idea about that so from the generating station telangana power generating station so we have uh, we have ktpp ktpp we have the generating stations okay one is ktpp ktpp is having a 1100 megawatts amount of thing okay newly installed one is 600 megawatts 
uh, old one is uh, 500 megawatts okay which is located in the bhopalpalli bhopalpalli district and uh, second one is the kotagudam thermal power station kotagudam thermal power station so which is going to give some pa- going to generate some power to the 1260 megawatts and uh, near to that near to that sileru we have sileru we have but after the division sileru will go to the ap ap part andhra pradesh as well as we have the ramagundam ramagundam thermal power station near to godarkani ramagundam which is going to give some power to the 62.5 megawatts only one turbine we have okay and uh, we have ntpc also i'll tell those things also and the other uh, badradri thermal power station power plant which is uh, under construction one badradri thermal power station which is going to give 1080 megawatts 1080 megawatts and uh, under constructed project we have uh, yadadri thermal power plant which is going to give 4000 megawatts okay these are the generating one okay under hydro okay under hydro we have nagarjun sagar okay nagarjun sagar uh, main main power plant uh, main pump house is going to give 815 megawatts left canal nagarjun sagar left canal package power house also gives 60 megawatts like uh, left side and right side we have okay main house main plant we have we will give 815 megawatts and uh, left canal is going to give 60 megawatts okay and uh, sri shalam left bank package is going to give 900 megawatts amount of thing and uh, hydro up to here like nagarjun sagar sri shalam okay nagarjun sagar sri shalam this ktpp ktps all are uh, depends on the coal based here nagarjun sagar and uh, sri shalam all these things are comes under the hydro okay these three most most of them are aware about that and uh, pochampad plant i have pochampad plant which is going to give power to the 36 megawatts 36 megawatts and singuru plant we have from the singuru pump house we are going to have 15 megawatts nijam sagar pump house from the nijam sagar pump house we are going to get 10 megawatts okay near to that some mini hydro power plants also we have some mini hydro power plants also we have paleru pulichintala hydro power plant and uh, lower julala jurala hydro power plant jurala hydro power plant is going to give some power to the 240 megawatts and jurala lower julala is also gives some power to the 240 megawatts amount of power here jurala plant is developing some power, uh, is uh, generating some power plant generating some power which is shared by the 50% share is given to the karnataka state okay so we have non conventional energy sources also those sources are jurara jurara sora power plant okay which is having a 1 megawatt another one ntpc is also we have okay under ntpc under ntpc we don't have any share but under ntpc we don't have any share but which is controlled by the which is controlled by the uh, central government ntpc ramagundam is going to give some power to the is generating some power to the
true coal uh, it is generating uh, it is uh, handling it is we have uh, total india side i am explaining total india wise ndpc owned coal based power plants are 24 power plants okay which is going to give some power to the india uh, having a worth of 42000 for around 42 45000 megawatts amount of power okay and we have uh, under ntpc we have the solar under ntpc we have the hydro under ntpc we have the gas also okay so i will give the brief idea about these things okay and uh, there are uh, some there are some okay raju thanks for your doubt uh, ntpc is controlled by the central government central government is having a option to send uh, that generating generating uh, generating power to the any state there is no option uh, for the use of uh, our state and uh, ktpp is nothing but our own state based uh, power plant we can use that power and we can sell that power so ntpc ramagundam here uh, ntpc ramagundam is going to give uh, some part to the part to the uh, central government is 2600 megawatts and we have uh, andhra pradesh is also having some power plant uh, ntpc those ntpc is uh, giving some part to the central government is uh, generating power capacity is 2000 megawatts okay each and every state uh, each and every state hello no 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 not our state not our state not our state only one ntpc is there Uh, for our state total india is having 24 ntpcs 24 ntpcs is it okay hello are you getting my point okay if you have any doubt i'll i'll clarify by the next week i'll start my syllabus okay just here this is about the hello <coughs> uh, rajasthi i'll go for the your uh, teaching schedule after this i'll give your uh, clarification i'll give your uh, clarification on so so this is about the teaching schedule of your uh, eds so first unit is uh, mainly concentrate on the general concepts and distribution feeder which i have explained brief uh, i have not given some brief idea about that so i gave some introductory class to you and after that uh, the second unit uh, we have substation as well as system analysis 
third unit is protection and coordination fourth unit is compensation for the pf improvement and the voltage control see if you see the clear syllabus of eds if you see the clear syllabus of the eds okay it is so simple it is so simple and uh, easiest one easiest one and uh, uh, the last see here first two two units are simple 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 things okay if you aware about the substation concept you can easily write on the paper as well as from the third unit onwards okay from the third unit onwards the uh, fourth unit is uh, you have already studied this fourth unit in the ps1 okay uh, this voltage control and uh, this protection part some topics are there in the psoc pass system operation and control some topics are there in the switch gear and protection there is some combined subject combined demo no, you you will study those things again in the pass system control and automation control and operation pass system operation and control subject as well as uh, the subject uh, switch gear and protection okay this is dead easy subject that is the subject you will score more marks you will score more marks coming to the uh, uh, rajeshri's question i have to clarify her doubt uh, before closing um, so the efficiency of the hydro power plant is more hydro power plant is more around 85% and uh, after that only all the things you will get okay and uh, nuclear power station we have nuclear power station is having 55 percentage one 55 percentage steam based power plant we have uh, diesel diesel based power plant we have okay diesel based power plant uh, we will have a 35 percentages as well as steam based one we have a 25 percentage okay okay rajeshri thank you thank you today stay home stay safe i am going to conclude my class by wednesday i will meet you again stay home stay safe don't go outside please don't go outside and uh,